we have the Zen Butterfly, and speaking is owner Ann Frost. Good evening, my name is Ann Frost, and together with my husband Scott, we own the Zen Butterfly Apothecary. Um, I've been a chronic pain patient since uh, 1999, when I was injured as a firefighter first responder. And I've been dealing with chronic pain, anxiety, and PTSD since then. And I was in pain management on 17 different prescriptions when we moved to North Dakota and we had a safety training company. And I was told by Hess I could not go out on their well sites with opiates in my system. <clears throat> so I looked into CBD, essential oils, and other herbs. And the Zen Butterfly was born out of that. Uh, we mainly uh, focus on CBD products from hemp, uh, but we have a lot of different products for pain and anxiety. I mainly focus on that because that's what I suffer from. And we are starting to give information about cancer to people. We're doing, trying to do some more outreach because when I started this, I had no idea about what different herbs could do. And there's a lot of information on Google that is misleading. Um, I've talked to people that had cancer that were afraid to try medical cannabis, uh, Kratom, other things for pain that can help you deal with that. And it became really a passion for me when my husband was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, we came here a year ago on the tail end of his treatment at Mayo Clinic. And I would like to thank the chamber. When we moved here, we had just gotten his cancer treatment finished. We were moving from one state to another, and we had our small business that we were moving, and they have been integral in our success here. Uh, the farmer's market has opened up um, a, an opportunity for us to meet people. And I've talked to people every day that are suffering from pain and anxiety, and they just, they don't want to take pills, and they just accept it. And that really makes me sad because that's no way to live. I've been there, I've lived it, and there's no reason to live like that. There are things out there that can help you if you just reach out and research it. It's not as easy as taking a pill, but the outcome is so much better. Any questions? Do you have that information if someone with chronic pain, I mean, if they were unable to do the research themselves and you say it's misleading on Google, would you have that information? Would you do a consult with someone to kind of steer them in the way that they should go? Yes, I'm happy to help with that. Um, there are a lot of herbs that, that I talk about. CBD, Kratom is another one. Um, a lot of people, if you Google Kratom, you're going to find information that would probably scare the heck out of you. And when you go further into research, you can find out that a lot of it is just misinformation. And a lot of people that I talk to, especially older people, they don't want to try CBD, even from hemp, because it's not psychoactive, but they have that back in their mind that it's, you know, it's not a good thing. It's, they think it might be psychoactive or whatever, but it's not. And if you want information on Kratom, a good place to go is called the Kratom Bible. That is where it's good independent information. Whenever you're doing the search on herbs, you want to find independent information, not just from the person that's selling it. How do you spell Kratom? I'm sorry? How do you spell that word you're saying, Kratom? K-R-A-T-O-M. Okay. If you uh, want to look at something else, you can look at Akuwama. Akuwama is a seed from Africa. That is for pain, and a lot of people. <laughs> AK. <laughs> yeah, there, there's just so many things that you can choose from that can help with pain. Not everything is going to work for everybody. That's why I sell so many different items because what works great for me may not work great for you. But there's always something else that you can try, and there's there's no reason to walk around in pain. Now that the market's over, and do you do you sell from your home? How do people contact you? Facebook? Do you have a website? 
Uh, we're working on a website. I've been selling off of a closed Facebook page since 2014, which is my main customer base. We have the page closed so people can talk about pain and anxiety and not have to worry about it being public. I'm happy to talk to anybody at any time. Uh, my phone number is public. Um, the Zen Butterfly Apothecary is in the white pages in Troy. So I'm, I'm happy to help that way as well. And we do have stuff at the chamber, information at the chamber as well. <coughs> yes? Michael, uh, to remind people that, that hemp derived CBD, you don't need a medical marijuana card and things like that. Right, right. exactly. Thank you. That's CBD fine. from hemp doesn't require a medical marijuana card. It is not psychoactive. <coughs> By definition, hemp has to have 0.3% THC or less. a lot of misinformation about CBD. A lot of people think that, um, or there's some information out there that it causes, if you take CBD, it can cause headaches or chest pain. It's not true, unless it's adulterated. The main side effect that you're looking at at CBD is you might take a good nap if you take too much, but it's a very safe product. It's, it's a very safe product. Uh, I have pet oil as well for dogs and cats, you know, Fourth of July when the fireworks are going off. You give them CBD. And it's not the same thing as giving them Benadryl. When you give a dog or cat Benadryl, they don't understand why they have that loopy feeling. CBD doesn't do that to them. They're just going to lay down and take a nap if they take too much. If you open the bottle and drop it and they lick up the whole bottle, you're going to take a nap. You don't have to worry about that. I have grandchildren. Um, my grandkids take CBD gummies. If they ate the whole bottle of gummies, worst case scenario, they're going to take a good nap. So it's, it's a very safe item to have. Anybody else? 